We're out on a wreck today. We've not gone as far as we wanted to because it's a little bit choppy. So we've stopped slightly more inshore. As you can see, we've been rocking a bit. I'm using Muppet rigs and I've baited them with like head and guts on the mackerel. He followed by a 10 ounce lead down the bottom and it's just tied on with a blood knot, it's a normal knot. I'll get it down now and see if we can find a ling or something. Well, I'm on the bottom now. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I'm just dragging the bottom with the baits. And what I'm waiting for is a bit of a, just a bite sort of thing. A bit like your normal dogfish bite. We're a bit more aggressive than that. And when you feel that, you hit it and don't give it any, any line. Just get it up out the wreck. That's it if we feel that. I've only ever had one ling off the wrecks on our coast, so I don't think it's a common thing. But they are here. A long way in the water. That was a decent pollock, dude. Yeah. That's like a proper pollock. Yeah, nice I went down on baited muppets and brought up a pollock. It's not a bad one. It's not a bad one. Hopefully, we get bigger. Like that. Carry it on and drop, Daddy. Go left a bit if you can. See more on the camera. I mean the rod. Oh, the hell is going on there? Yeah. I've had that before. Bigger slowly, nearly on the bottom. Now you just give it a steady retrieve, and hopefully, the fish hit it and you can see how it works. There we go. Keep the keep winding. There's like a small one again, but you get the idea. Had a few good dives. Oh. That's more like it. Yeah. That's what I've been trying to catch you. <laughs> They give a good go, these ones do. When you hook them, they dive like crazy. It's a nice pollock. But I'll get back down for another one. <laughs> Nearly at the bottom now. Change my setup. I'm back on the pen fathom. I'll do a review on this reel. I will. It's just a nice little reel. The angle of the wreck, you can You have to sort of it. It's like from the side all the way. This one's diving like mad.
Ja, ja. Not a bad fish. Nice one there. We'll get back down. I'm getting bumps now on the way down. There's fish looking at it now. There we go. Having a dive. And he come off. Go back down and try again. Yeah, there's no there's mix for the sand this year, isn't there? Yeah. There we go. It's come off again. And it come off again. It's weird, isn't it? Two in a row. And again, hopefully this one stays on. Seems like he's on. It's not too big, so nice pollock. Thought I'd show you the setup I'm using. Got the braid here, which is from the reel, the main line, tied onto a swivel. The swivel is then going to a boom. This is actually a line through boom. As you can see there, I've got mono line, which runs through it. I've put a bead at either end, just to protect the knot. And then I've got, that's 20 pound mono. It's fluorocarbon, I think it's Berkeley Trilene, which is probably about six foot, down to a cod squad shad. One of those. Seems to be doing the trick. We're getting a lot of mixed fish on this wreck today. We've got quite a few small ones, like really small. But we've had them up to eight pound then as well. It's just really, really odd. What we're doing is, there's a wreck below us, obviously, that's what we're fishing. It's 160 foot down, so we're going up tide of it, drifting across it, and we're finding that we're hitting the pollock towards the back end of the wreck. And as the drift goes further on, we're getting bigger fish. So what we're trying to do is hold above it till we're midway, and then we're trying to drop down to try and pick out the better fish. It's not always working, but we are trying. On one of our next drops, what I'm going to do is get Mark to explain what we're fishing. Basically, to me, it's just a wreck in 160 foot of water. I don't know anything else about it. He's the man with the knowledge. So he'll be standing here fishing away and he'll explain it to you where we're fishing. Tell him a bit about this wreck, huh, Mark? Before you get a fish on. Well, this wreck, particular wreck, is uh, it's quite unusual because it's, it's not actually that far out, but uh, it's nobody actually is it's marked as unknown, so it's nobody really knows actually what it was so it's chances are it's from world war one or world war two but uh nobody, you know there is actually a name for it so it can, nobody really knows what it is so it's quite interesting so it's uh yeah how deep is it it's 160 feet it is what does it what does it come up to it comes up to it comes up to about 130 over the top of it 
and uh, yeah, it sort of, sort of tapers up and it sort of drops off quite sharp at the one end. It's almost got an undercut section there. Like a bow or a stern or something, like it's ploughed into the seabed. Or... I can only imagine what, it's actually, what it actually is or was. So it's, yeah, it's quite interesting. Well, as Mark was talking about the wreck, I brought this up. It's not too bad. Might make five, maybe. I'm not sure without weighing it, but yeah. They're really predatory. Got loads of little, like sandpaper, like teeth. Huge eyes, and they give a good account of the self as well. Let's get back up for another one. Mark had a nice one. Uh, there we are. That's that's more like it. It's gonna be about eight, I suppose. Give a good uh, good dive and uh, coughed up a load of sprats and white bait on the way up and yeah that's a more of a slab <laughs> nice fish and it it is mate and he took it on the rhubarb and custard yeah rhubarb and custard sidewinder imitation or knockoff version off ebay or whatever it is yeah some good eating there I'm going to have a couple more drifts and I'm going to call it a day. It's been quite a long one today. I'm not sure how much of the footage is good on the camera, but hopefully we've got some good footage. I'm not going to see until I get home. But see if we can get a couple more fish before we go. I've got a fish on now. Hopefully it stays, only feels like a better fish. It'd be good for the last fish. It's a one pound pollock fair looked in the tail. Is that what it is? <laughs> Probably. It feels really heavy. It feels like it's coming up wrong. That's what my lymph felt like. This is really heavy. Because we're still, you know, we was off the wreck when we were off that. It'd be interesting to see what it is. You know what? Well, well. It is a link, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's a link. There we go. Probably should end it on that one. A nice little link. It's only the second one I've ever caught. And it's been caught on Hello. a little shad. I'll show, you, I'll show you now. It's a little rhubarb and custard, cod squad shad. Get another look at this fish. I'm gonna say it's probably four or five pound, probably. Just look the colours on the, the fin along there and everything. And the teeth. See if I can get the teeth on it. You don't want to be putting your fingers inside there. But it's a nice fish. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video with us out here wrecking. We don't get to do it too often because of the weather. And we're out quite away from the shoreline. But yeah. I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. If you can, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell to all notifications and you'll know when I upload the next video. Hopefully it won't be too long and I'll see you next time.